One day during the oil crisis, I said to myself, now is the time to do something grandly communicative and heroic and unite my two passions by having my racing cars painted by the leading artists of the time. It started in 1975 when Hervé Poulain, an auctioneer and ardent racing driver from France, was searching for a link between art and cars. Poulain asked his friend, the renowned artist Alexander Calder, to paint the first BMW art car. The unique combination of motorsport and design fascinated famous artists of our time, like Frank Stella. Painting cars, I think, is insanely difficult. I mean, you have to think of a new idea, and I didn't think of this idea, it was just luck. It was the first thing that I did, but it, it worked out quite well. Other pieces of racing art came from pop art legends Roy Lichtenstein and Andy Warhol. Since the 80s, the spectrum of designated models widened. Art cars were no longer restricted to racing cars, but now encompassed all BMW models. And more than anything, I wanted to make it look like it was about to go. It was just about to fly. I only had the feeling the work was completed once the BMW emblem was applied. At that point, I was as happy as a little child. This year, the collection got its latest piece. American contemporary art superstar Jeff Koons designed this BMW GT2, the 17th art car. The BMW art car series is part of the DNA of our cultural engagement. Um, it's part of the backbone of what it is that we do when we engage ourselves culturally. From the 1970s till now, the BMW art cars reflect the cultural historical development of art design and technology. BMW will continue to document the fascinating symbiosis of art and technology at future international exhibitions. <laughs>